Now, I've got some material. Uh, this is from press coverage of the SBTV Christmas party, um, which I was filming for Live Magazine. Um, I've got an interview here uh, with Misha B. Um, here I've got the sound. You need to obviously name your sound better, but at the moment I know for a fact that this is Misha B's interview sound. And I've also got a video of the interview here. So what we're going to do is hold down command and select this clip as well, and then right click and press synchronize clips or command option G. Um, I always say alt, um, I know some of you guys don't know what I mean when I say alt, it's the alternative click is what I mean, but I'm British and in, in Britain it says alt, um, but it's also called the option key and it's more called the option key in America I believe, um, so command option G to auto sync, and then you can see that next this clip we've now got a new clip which has been named synchronize, um, if we go on to the inspector, click on the I, and then just click on the info tab you can see synchronized clip MVI and then tells you that we've now synchronized um, it will actually do some background rendering if you press command 9 it does some uh, transcode and analysis you can see I've already done it so I've now got two synchronized clips and then we can drag them out into the timeline and if we just play this back we can see that the audio and video are aligned um, but what this does require is for the actual original video clip to have some audio as well which which I do um, so you might think what's the point well obviously external mics are often a lot better I was using a zoom h2 for this uh, and then we shot on the 550 so if we just go into the double click sorry for double click on this icon here it works exactly like a compound clip you can see the audio has been aligned. Now, if the audio on the actual camera is really bad, then obviously Final Cut won't be able to deal with it and um, and you won't get a very good sync. But if we just changed the endpoints, now we can get rid of this. Um, what you then want to do is grab this bar here. This is the um, audio levels bar. If you hold down Option or Alt, then you can actually customize the height. But we actually just want to grab it all down to zero. And then we're just left with this audio. If we play it back, amazing. You know, before I started singing and stuff, I really looked up to Jamal and then you can see that our audio is lining up perfectly um, but like I said it doesn't always work so always be good always practice manually doing it just in case um, if you have a clapper board obviously it's easy you just line up the clapper with the sound of the clapper makes it easy whereas with dialogue it's slightly harder um, it just takes a little bit of um, trial and error um, just gotta find a key point so it could be Will we be seeing you on SPTV very, very soon? Could be that could be the line, and then you'd look for that line in um, in the video footage. But obviously, if the video has no audio itself, then it becomes even harder. And that is when you really need a clapperboard um, because you don't have any reference audio or waveforms. One last thing we're going to do with this clip, uh, with this audio, sorry, is go into the audio enhancements and increase the uniformity and you can see that's going to boost up all the quieter bits so that it's more level. Now don't do this in an actual film because you often want quiet moments and also it is basically what it's going to do is just level out the audio and for an interview that's what you want, you want it to all be on roughly the same level um, and maybe you want that for a voiceover but actors will give you a great performance when they give you some low some low vocals um, low voice moments um, some louder moments that really emphasize what the character's feeling and well, just exactly it's their performance it's capturing their performance and by changing this you are destroying their performance but for stuff like this and for stuff like voiceovers this is a very good feature and like I said just press the I for the inspector go into audio and go into audio analysis and it's right here so thank you very much for watching and 
I will see you guys soon. Remember to subscribe, rate, and comment, and share share these videos with your friends. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon with some more tutorials. Uh, my next tutorial will be after Christmas um, on how to edit music videos inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So that's a pretty exciting tutorial coming up. Uh, see you guys soon.